For the next couple of minutes, you're gonna think I'm a crazy person. This door, it takes people somewhere. It takes them somewhere special, where you can change the past. You have a time machine in your closet, Woody? No, it's not a time machine. What? I didn't mean that. <laughs> Drinks? Snacks? I'll take a club soda. Niles, would you like a club soda? No, thanks. I don't want one either. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not going to say I wasn't you know, trying to be a little flirtatious, but I wasn't trying to be that creepy. You got to go home. This is a mess. You hear me? You got to go home. Look, I don't have all the answers, OK? But I'm telling you, people come here that I've never met. And when I leave them alone in this closet, I never see them again. You have no idea what you have here, do you? Just do what he says, even if it seems peculiar. That's one of the people. One of the strangers that comes over here to disappear in your closet? Yes. Well, I sleep 10 feet from a door that lets junkies and prostitutes have a second chance at life. I'm somehow not worthy of the same. I just want my parents back. That's not how it works, Derwood. Then explain how it works, Moses. You've let something you understand very little about completely overtake you. You need to get some help, man. I need you to trust me. I want you to come with me to my apartment. I want to show you something.